In this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your VI4 229 Pro dash camera firmware. So this process will work for almost all the VI4 dash camera. So for all the dash cameras, the process will be almost the same. So let's get started. First of all, you need to insert the SD card into your PC or laptop slot. So once you insert the SD card into the SD card slot of your PC or laptop, first of all, you will need to format the SD card to format. Go to this PC, right click on the SD card, click on format. From the file system, select XFET from allocation unit size, select default allocation size and click on the start button. A warning will appear, formatting will erase all data on this disk. So to format the disk, click OK. To quit, click cancel. Click on OK. Once format is completed, click on OK. So now open a web browser and search for VI4. So from the result, click on the vi4.com, which is the official website of VI4 dash cameras. From the home page of the VI4, click on support. Under support, click on firmware and manual. So this will take you to the download center page. Scroll down the page. Over here, all the dash camera models will be displayed. So you can download the firmware as per your dash camera model. So over here, I am updating the A229 Pro dash camera firmware. So from the option, I will select A22. 29 pro from the list on selecting the dash camera the firmware of that specific dash camera will be displayed so over here you will be able to see the firmware is displayed of the selected dash camera so under the firmware section you will be able to see the name of the firmware file the version size and release date so if this is the latest version of the firmware then you need to download these files before you proceed downloading the file you can check your current firmware version of the dash camera if it is if your dash camera is working on older version of firmware then you need to download this latest version of the firmware so over here you can see there are two files the first file is for the front camera and the second file is of the rear camera as mine is a dual camera here i have got two files to download so in case if your dash camera is of single camera which is only the front camera then you will be able to see only one file so here in my case i have two camera which is front and back or the rear camera so there are two firmware files for the camera so download both of these files by clicking on download button so once the download gets completed open the download folder where the firmware file has been downloaded so copy these both the files from the downloads folder and paste it into the sd card drive once the files are successfully copied onto your sd card eject the sd card so next we will need to go to the dash camera and update the software or the firmware so let's get started once you have copied firmware files onto your sd card insert the sd card into your dash camera sd card slot so make sure while inserting the sd card the dash camera is turned off so once you insert the sd card turn on the dash camera so once the dash camera turns on firmware update process will start and you will be able to see updating firmware message on the screen with a status bar showing the status of the firmware update so this could take several minutes to complete so make sure you don't turn off the dash camera while update is going on so the firmware has been successfully updated now the dash camera will restart so once the dash camera restarts after few seconds you will be able to see a message sending firmware to rear camera this means the rare camera firmware update is taking place so this will take several minutes to complete so you will need to wait patiently until the process completes a message will appear updating rare camera firmware you will need to wait for few seconds until this message disappears so while this process is going on make sure you don't turn off the dash camera if you turn off your dash camera then the firmware update will get interfered and your dash camera could become unoperative could get corrupted and it would even get dead so the message has been disappeared and the dash camera is now getting restarted so here you can see the dash camera is successfully updated and now the dash camera is ready to capture so this means the firmware has been successfully updated so once the firmware gets updated vi4 recommends to reset the device to reset the camera you will need to first stop the recording by clicking on the recording button once the recording is stopped you will hear record Recording has been stopped through the no voice notification and click on the hamburger menu item to open the dashcam settings so here you can scroll up and down using the recording and mic button and if you wish to go back then you will need to press the hamburger button scroll down and click on system settings and to click ok you will need to press the middle button which is the exclamation button scroll down the page and at the bottom you will find an option
default setting just click on ok so this will give you an option return menu settings to default scroll down to the ok button by pressing the mic button so this will bring the selection to the ok button and now press ok button to proceed with the reset so this will take some time to reset the dash camera your dash camera will restart and you will be asked to set the language then set the time zone as per your region then press ok then select a speed units which you prefer you will be prompted to format micro sd card all data will be deleted just click on ok proceed with the formatting this will format your memory card memory card has been successfully formatted and the dash camera is now ready to capture so this is how you can easily update firmware of your dash camera